And now, presenting the field for the 14th running of the No Double Breeders Stakes. Number one is Southwest Racing Stables Incorporated and Steve H. Lewis's Mrs. Beans. Gennaro Garcia is the trainer and the jockey is Giovanni Franco. Number two is Bandit Point, owned and trained by Robert Klein. The jockey, Kelsey Har. Number three is Jerry Caroom's Tempt Fate. Carl DeVille is the trainer. The jockey is Florent Giroux. Number four is James W. Matheny Jr.'s Blame J.D. Aiden Green is the trainer. The jockey, Martin Garcia. Number five is Mr. S. Racing's Big Success. John Prather Jr. is the trainer. The jockey, David Cohen. Number six is J&J Thoroughbreds Supercharger. John Prather Jr. is the trainer. The jockey, Luis Canonas. Number seven is Carson McCord's KJ's Nobility. Wesley Hawley is the trainer. The jockey, David Cabrera. Number eight is Dale White Sr.'s Young Bull. Dale White Sr. is the trainer, and the jockey is Francisco Arietta. Number nine is Shortleaf Stable Incorporated's Gar Hole. John Alexander Ortiz is the trainer, and the jockey is Ricardo Santana Jr. And completing the field, number 10, Reef's Destiny. Reef's Destiny is owned and trained by Robert Klein. The jockey is John Court. That's the field for the 14th running of the No Double Breeders Stakes. They're off. Temp Fate wins the break. Mrs. Beans ducked in very sharply coming out of the chute and messed it all up. Temp Fate, Blame JD, a close gar hole in the center. Reef's Destiny and Supercharger. These five right across the track. Then comes Young Bull, followed by KJ's Mobility and Bandit Point. Big success. And the trouble at the start has Mrs. Beans at the back of the pack. Blame JD has taken the lead going into the far turn from Gar Hole, who's in second. Blame JD, three quarters of a length. Gar Hole is second by a tight length to Reef's Destiny, Temp Fate, and Supercharger. KJ's Nobility is at the rail with three lengths to make up. Young Bull just outside of him. Two and a half back to Big Success and Bandit Point. Mrs. Bean still the trailer and here's Gar Hole to make his move. Gar Hole at the top of the stretch has now taken over the lead from J Blame JD in second. Temp Fate is third but he's three and a half behind. Supercharger is next and Gar Hole is running away and putting on another show. Gar Hole now suddenly five lengths in front. Bandit Point with his patented late stretch run. He might get into second but he is not going to catch an Arkansas bread star gar hole in front gar hole won by five and a half supercharger was second bandit point third close for fourth between mrs beans and kj's nobility and now returning to the winner circle the winner of the 14th running of the no double breeders stakes gar hole and jockey ricardo santana jr Garhole is owned by Shortleaf Stable Incorporated and trained by John Alexander Ortiz. Running time, 1 minute, 9 seconds flat. in the winner's circle to present the trophy for today's 14th running of the No Double Breeders Stakes is Dash Goff. Here with trainer Johnny Ortiz, who saddled Gar Hole to victory in today's No Double Stakes. Now, this win is a little extra special because this is your first Oaklawn Stakes win and also gave owner and breeder Shortleaf Stable their first No Double win, which is very hard to believe given the fact that they have campaigned horses at Oaklawn for 50 years and are the winningest Oaklawn owners 
in history. Ridden very confidently by Ricardo Santana. He is now the first four-time winner at the race meet, Johnny, and a stakes winner in his stakes debut. Now, you said you think this horse is going to move forward. Everyone was thinking, how is that remotely possible? But he did. He came home in 109 flat. What could possibly be next for Garhole? You know, right now, his meal is next. That's, that's <laughs> what's next for him. He's going to have a nice meal. He's going to get a nice hot bath, and he's going to relax right now. Uh, John, Ed, and I, we're going to go ahead and uh, think about his future. But you know what? Today, I told Ricardo, I don't want to see him gallop through the wire. I actually want to see a racehorse finish through and through. I want to see if he can compete in open company. You know, with a 109 flat, I think that's easy to say. I think he belongs in in any open company race. Well, he certainly proved that today. Now, watching his performance, this was the most stacked and talented group that he's come up against. The reigning no double champ, meaning tempt fate, uh, a hard knocking horse like Bandit Point. He's come up against those horses before, but do you think this was the ultimate test for him today? Yeah, I mean, it really was. I mean, last race, I thought, you know, he was up, uh, you know, in some deep waters there, and I said, like, Ricardo, you know, we're going to find out what we have today. Uh, and, you know, obviously, she he ran a really nice race. Again, he's, he seems to be doing this a little too easy for him. And I told him, like I said, today I want to know what we have. Um, you know, the, the competition is is incredible. I mean, the, the Archibred program is incredible. I'm all for the Archibred. You know, I want to thank Mr. John Ed Anthony, first of all, again, you know, for congratulate him and thank him for getting my first win and his first uh, no double. He told me this race is, he's never won it, and this is very special. Mr. John Anthony has, pro uh, like, provided so much success to our, our barn that uh, I'm just grateful, and I couldn't be any more grateful than, than what I'm feeling right now. It's just... I'm probably even speechless right now. I almost shed a tear earlier. I don't know. <laughs> but. Well, congratulations to Shortleaf Stable, the homebred for the barn, also Ricardo Santana, and to Johnny Ortiz, who is also on the cover of Trainer Magazine, a well-deserved honor. So go celebrate tonight. Garhole, extremely impressive in today's No Double Stakes.